strong moral system. Hi, Cameron. Are you on the line? I am. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. you sound great. A little muffled, but you're you're clear. Okay, fantastic. I'm outside, so that may be the muffling. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Jeff. Glad to chat with you guys. Yeah, you too. Um, happy Thanksgiving. I know it's not there yet for you, but that's today for us here. Oh, yeah, that's true. True. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'll be quick. I know you guys got other callers. Uh, my biggest thing was I just kind of want to chat for a moment. Um, I know that uh, difficulty you guys have experienced as well as myself as an atheist is the idea of people coming across and saying, you know, you don't believe because of something bad that's happened to the church or, or an experience right. with the pastor. Or something yeah. Like that. Um, I, I also am gay, and I just want to kind of get your uh, your guys' kind of sense on the issue of how, you know, very often that's presented as the reason. People are often like, oh, you're gay. You, I've had people try to explain to me why it's okay with God in their view and this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one is sort of the a derivative of you just want to sin kind of thing. And, and to me, you know, it's really dis disrespectful, very dismissive of... Uh, yeah. Basically, the process you had to go through to get rid of all of the religious indoctrination. Oh, um, definitely, and and I think it, it, it it's disrespectful, and also the aspect that it does overlook the challenges that I faced uh, because right. I until I was eighteen, or 18, I was very strongly Christian, and uh, you know, kind trying to make that lateral with being gay is very difficult, very very big struggle. Yeah, well, and and the thing is, I, I mean, I came out as gay, you know, long before I well. I knew I was gay a long time before I realized I was an atheist, and the two had absolutely nothing to do with each other. So, I mean, if I had wanted to be a gay theist, there are plenty of churches who um, they've decided to disregard that part of the Bible, you know, and, and, and basically embrace gay people as members of the church. So finding a church to attend, it, if I'd wanted to cling to my belief in a God, that wouldn't have been difficult. Oh, um, of course. And I mean, that's the thing. It is possible. And, and I think people just kind of tend to overlook that. And they, right. they just make the same application. You're breaking up a little bit, Cameron. Yeah. There's a little bit of breakup oh, in your call. Because you're gay, that, that's why you're an atheist. That makes sense. Yeah. Here you and, go. and it's never the case. Oh, okay. sorry, I apologize. No, no, it's okay. Um, yeah, you're, you broke up a little bit when yeah, you were talking, I'm, I'm but, but I, I think we got, up. like, yeah, the gist of it. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, and that's pretty much what I want to kind of get across. It's something that I've struggled with a lot, and that's one particular issue where people are always jumping to the same conclusion. Well, before I let you go, though, I just want to point out, I mean, don't you think a lot of that just has to do with they, they have difficulty actually accepting that someone might have thought this through and drawn another conclusion? Like, for them, it's easier to just say you're gay than it is to sit there and think maybe there is another way to look at this that I haven't considered or that I'm not thinking of. That's oh, a scary thought for, the, for somebody yeah. that <laughs> devotes their life to a cause. Yeah. Oh, of course. And I, I, totally, I totally agree with that. I think that's a lot of what it is, is people are, are unaware of how much thought someone who is an atheist tends to have put into this. And yeah. it's, for me, it, it's more than I did when I was a theist, ever. Yeah, and yeah. This, this is the preacher rhetoric, right? I mean, this is what they teach from the pulpit to, to disseminate. This is the meme that goes out to the masses to say they just want to sin. And that way you hear this, you hear somebody ha that has a, uh, like you said, you, they may try to make an argument or say I'm an atheist and they mention they're gay and suddenly that script plays, right? It, the s switch flips and oh, they just want to sin. And suddenly yeah, they don't have to think it. about this anymore. They don't have to hear you. Like Jen said, they can just dismiss you entirely because you just want to sin. And the, and the preacher has already got that in their heads where that's just the thing, the wall that comes down. And then I don't have, that's what indoctrination is, right? It's putting these walls course, in yeah. place so that they all come down and then I don't have to think anymore. So that wall comes down and then I don't have to think. Yeah, and that's really what it comes to. It seems oftentimes when I discuss these things with theists, they are looking for the first shutout they can find. Right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. They're looking for the reason why you would reject it, because it couldn't be that you really, really thought this through. Yeah, it could be that they're wrong. That's the one thing. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That's yes. the conclusion, right? Like, if you thought it through and you came to this conclusion, maybe I'm not right. And that's, yeah. a, that's an untenable uh, thought for them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and it is, and and it comes down to again, you run into a lot of the other conversations. I know you 
few of us have already had a caller on today discussing, you know, morality and, and where atheists tend to get those from. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've always, I, I've been watching your show for years. I think Matt Dillahunty's done a fantastic job discussing morality and specifically secular morality. Uh, really, really fantastic stuff. So, yeah, uh, I appreciate what you guys do with the show. I think it's a lot of help. Right. I've been watching you know, well, for thanks. like six or seven years. So. Cool. Thanks. Thank yeah. you, Cameron. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. And Tracy, I also really enjoyed that talk you did a few years back on uh, family values. Oh, thanks. Actually, that was well this done. year. <laughs> so, was that this year? It is this year, yeah. So that was cool. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, yeah, it was really good. I found it on YouTube. I thought it might have been a little older. No, uh, I probably oh. just look super young and beautiful in that video. Yeah. It's like just through you, no, right? You always do. You always do. So. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I probably shouldn't even go there. Like, All right. Well, anyway, thank you, Cameron. Thank you guys very much for the show. You have a wonderful day.